Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade aloe vera shampoo for hair growth. So if you're interested, be sure to watch and watch till the end of the video. Now, I'm very excited to bring this recipe to you guys because I have tried and tested it and it's been amazing for my hair. And I thought one of you guys might actually benefit from this. So if you're interested, like I said, just keep on watching. Now, if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. And if you're new, my name is Vanessa. I make natural videos like one of these ones. So if you're interested, be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family. Now we're going to get right into the video. The first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe will be some black soap. Now the one that I'm using is the one called Dudu Awesome. Um, but you can get it, you know, you can get it from Amazon or any other, you know, um, like hair shops in the UK. Um, I've got a link like I said in my description box if you want to purchase it. So I'm just cutting the, the black soap into really small pieces here and then I'm gonna um, just try and mash it a little bit okay with the knife as much as I could and then we're going to pop that all in a Tupperware. Now the reason I'm using a Tupperware is because I just didn't feel comfortable using a ball um, to put the soap in it because you know it's soap <laughs> so um, most of the balls that I use in my house for you know um, is for, uh, are for eating pretty much so I just didn't feel comfortable putting black soap in it but you can use a ball if you want to so I just added some hot water to this and then I'm just gonna set it aside to allow the black soap to melt um, easily it took about a few hours for that to happen I'm not entirely sure because I didn't time it um, but in the meantime, you can prepare your aloe vera. Okay, I'm using the aloe vera plant here that I got for my Afro Caribbean food store. Now, if you're in the UK, they're readily available in these kind of stores. Uh, but if you're not, I'm not entirely sure how it is in the other countries. But I think aloe vera is readily available. Like I said, everything is in my description box as well if you want to purchase it. So I'm just deciding to, you know, cut a small part of the plant here that I'm going to need for this recipe. And then I went ahead and rinsed it off just to remove all the impurities, cut the sharp edges, and then I cut the aloe vera into smaller pieces just so that it's easier to blend. Now I'm not going to get rid of the skin of it here because of the fact that it's got some amazing nutrients in it as well that I don't want to lose. Now aloe vera is really great for your hair guys because it helps repair dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great moisturizer, leaves your hair looking all shiny and smooth and it also promotes hair growth so it's just amazing. Um, and that's why I love to use it a lot in my DIYs. So go ahead and blend that all together and, and then uh, you end up with a nice smooth consistency like this but you want to strain it because if you don't you're going to have a lot of debris in your hair after you washed it which you're not going to like. So I'm using a stocking cap here actually I think it's a wig cap that I got from Amazon um, but you can use like um, a, t a tea towel um, I don't know like anything that you got to strain it pretty much so after you finish straining it that's pretty much what you would end up with okay so all the debris left in the, sco in the stocking cap so just get rid of that and then you're going to have the juice now the next ingredient would be some apple cider vinegar now apple cider vinegar is really great for your hair as well guys because it's really great at moisturizing it also getting rid of you know uh, build up of products and it also clarifies your hair so it lets it it leaves it um, a shiny which is really good now honey is also amazing for your hair guys because it has humectant properties so it means it kind of moisturizes the hair it also can promote cell growth and it also restores the nutrients to the hair and the scalp now the next ingredient will be some argan oil now i love argan oil guys because it's really really good at preventing hair loss and it also allows you to have thicker and fuller hair pro uh, promotes a healthy scalp and it's also something that you can use regularly in your hair regimen without you know having any kind of side effects it's great at reducing break breakage and split ends now the last one but not least is olive oil now olive oil is also amazing for your hair guys because it treats dandruff moisturizes your hair and scalp it also promotes healthy hair growth because it's high in vitamin e and other great antioxidants so you just want to go ahead and mix all of that in together and then you're ready to actually combine the aloe vera mixture with the black soap 
um, that you melted okay so combine all of it together and then mix it as well just to allow everything to sort of you know just to get like a homogeneous mixture pretty much so this is basically what i ended up with is a little bit slippery to the touch because of the aloe vera don't worry that's normal and it will go away after like you know a few minutes of just sitting so i just went ahead and i transferred that to my old shower gel bottle i usually keep these for you know my diys because you know it just just comes in handy so i just transferred that in there popped the cap on and then i was pretty much ready to use it now i really love this shampoo guys because it was like i said it's a really great moisturizer and also a really great cleanser now sometimes it's really difficult to get both of these properties in like you know short bought shampoos and that's why i usually prefer to make my own um it's not to say that i don't use the ones from the shop but i don't use it very often so i prefer to use this one because it's very nourishing and also uh, cleansing like i said so i'm now going to show you how i wash my hair with this so be sure to keep on watching guys because i've got some great information that you don't want to miss out so i'm starting here on pretty much dirty hair you can tell my hair is kind of way down because it's very thin um i do not actually stretch it or anything it just it's just like that from like lots of products um so i'm now deciding I, i've now decided to part it into two sections and then uh, split one section into two sections so essentially to have four sections it just makes it easier for me to work on my hair now this one i hadn't detangled my hair because it was really really dry and your girl just didn't have energy okay i didn't have energy to sit there and start detangling to then get in the shower and then wash it so i was like you know what i'm just gonna wash it like that um so but if you can detangle your hair before you wash it it will make you know the detangling process afterwards so much easier and smoother as well um but this shampoo was really great at keeping my hair moisturized anyway so i didn't really struggle to detangle my hair afterwards anyways so i just decided to wet the hair here guys and then i'm just going in with my shampoo and massaging my scalp now you don't want to use your nails like use the tip of your fingers to massage it nicely to get rid of you know all of the build up and basically everything that you don't want on your hair pretty much now i love the shampoo as well because it was really lathering really well despite all the other stuff that we added to it uh it did not lose its ladder which was actually really really great um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and just like i said massage that in finish one section and then move on to the next the shampoo guys because like i said it's just really really moisturizing now if your hair is really really dry then um essentially you just need to like stay away from shampoos that are really really drying like shampoo that strip your hair off its moisture because actually if you if you want to retain length you need to um have as, as much moisture in your hair as possible just to prevent it from you know breaking and falling off um, so that's why the shampoo I would suggest that you try it out and if you do like it make sure that you know you use it on a regular it's something that I do quite regularly just because of the fact that yeah it's like I said it's just really moisturizing and yeah and it's got some amazing ingredients in there as well that can nourish your hair and your scalp so I had finished washing that section off guys I just decided to go ahead and twist it and then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for the rest of my hair now I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like after i have shampooed every single um sex section just because you know it's so much easier to see it 
Now, one thing that I would say though is that when you're washing your hair with this shampoo and rinsing it off, make sure that the water is nice and warm. The reason why that is is because we've got quite a lot of oils in this shampoo. Um, so you want to have warm water just so you can get all of that oil out of your hair pretty much. Now, if you if the water is cold, you know, like oil and cold water, like you know, um, doesn't really work well together. So essentially, just use um, what's it called warm water for this because it will certainly be better and it cannot actually be a little bit messy as well so your sink might get a bit dirty because of the black soap um, but that's usually I mean for me it's not really a problem because with just one spray of flash and you know and a little wipe it just all goes away and everything is nice and clean again um, so like I said I really prefer the shampoo from you know um, Short bought shampoos just because yeah of his amazing properties now you can see the ladder here is not really um it's not white is because i had some hibiscus in my hair and you know hibiscus is very i mean after it stayed in your hair for a while it just gets black pretty much <laughs> so that's basically what why the ladder was looking like that so this is my hair guys after i have finished shampooing every single part this is what it looked like you can see it already looks so much better from what I had at the beginning. It looks very moisturized, you know, shiny. It's got a lot of volume as well, a lot of shrinkage, but that's fine. That's normal for natural hair. Uh, my hair really shrinks a lot anyways, and shrinkage is actually a good sign that your hair is healthy. Okay, so um yeah that's basically what it looked like guys i was really really happy with this now i went ahead and i added some conditioner to my hair that's what you need to do after you shampooed it but i'm not including that in this video because i don't want it to be too long um but yeah go ahead and condition it pretty much and the shine will be even more significant after you've conditioned your hair this is what my hair looks like after i came out of the shower because i left my conditioner in for about two hours then i went i took a shower and i cleaned and and i also rinsed off the conditioner for my hair so this is what it looks like really nice and moisturized and shiny so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye